The heading you've already made is measures of central tendency, 30th of January today. Yep, okay. Let's very, very quickly, and you should be able to do all of this really quick. For all each of these, what's the quickest way that you could describe what each is or how you get it from a set of data? What do you do to calculate mean? Can someone tell me? You're going to add all the numbers and then? And then divide. Fantastic. So another way of saying mean is just, well, calculate the average, right? Um, average in just normal, everyday speaking um, kind of means the middle, kind of means all of these, but more specifically in mathematics, when we say average, we mean add everything up. Whoa, that was probably louder than you intended it to be. I'm just going to hold on to this one. Um, add them all up, divide by however many that you have. This is what we mean by the mean. Okay. Mode. This is even simpler. In fact, you don't really need any calculation at all. What do you do? What is the mode? The most frequent score. It's the most frequent or the most common score. Perfect. I'm just going to say most, uh, most frequent was the exact words that Saray used, and I'm happy with that. Okay, wonderful. And last one, median. What's, it, what's its meaning? It's the center number or the, the middle score, right? In fact, that's why it has midi in there, right? So we'll just write down middle score. Um, worth remembering, of course, it's easy to work out the middle score if you have an odd number of scores, like five. You just say, well, it's, it's that one, so that you've got the same number on one side and the same number on the other. Right? So that's easy. What do you do when there's an even number of scores? If you had one, two, three, four, five, six scores, where's the median? Yeah. Sorry? Yep, yeah, very good. So it's the average between those two, right? If this was five and this was six, the median in this case wouldn't be neither five nor six, it'd be five and a half. So we take the mean, like so. Okay, so that's just to remember what they are. Now I'm going to give you about, I'm going to call it two minutes, two minutes because they're not that many, to have a look more closely at that post-it note you've got. You either have one uh, individually or one between two, and I then want you, you've got two minutes, to come up onto the board and think about which of these three do you think that description or characteristic fits underneath. Have a very brief discussion and then come up as soon as you're ready. Off you go. Here's what we're going to do. We're gonna, I'm just going to go left to right and I'm going to see if you agree or disagree and importantly, why. So let, let's start over with the mean here. Okay, I've got three underneath here which I, I don't think is enough but anyway, we'll find out. Okay, the mean. Uh, we're saying, firstly, that the mean is the least, you can write this down by the way, once we all agree on where it belongs, we reckon the mean is least affected by small changes to the data set. Let me say that again. We reckon the mean is, of these three, it's least affected by small changes to the data set. I'm seeing some people shaking their heads at me. Hmm. Now, I will, I will point out, I will point out, and this is unfair because I only gave you at your table, a few to see. Um, some of them contrast with the others. So I wonder, I know it's very small, sorry. I'm going to find the one that contrasts to this one. Where's it gone? Uh, I think it's, here we go. Most affected by small changes to data set is over here. And this one is least affected. So who agrees that this is the one that should be here? Hands up. There should be at least one person because they put it there. <laughs> Come in. Okay, who disagrees? Someone would want to tell me why. Zach, you go ahead. I feel like you could make a good argument for mode um, in case of small changes to the data set. Mode is typically from a already like very frequent term, so a small change shouldn't change the existing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Existing. So, so does anyone want to go back on what Zach just said? Mo? Yeah, I disagree because the small change could be just an added number of the mode. Which could be like... So well, you're, you're now asking like, what do you mean by small change? Is that what you mean? But I think it's median because if you, if you change like uh, one of the numbers in the data set, you're still going to have the number in the middle that's going to be the same number. Okay, so this is really interesting. So it depends what kind of small This feels like... A, we're start, do you remember the task we did yesterday and how it felt? Or I feel like, well, I should give you right of response. Is that what you want to... Yeah? yeah like I guess what I'm saying is like when you like add them all together and then divide them, like there's there's a subtle like there's a much smaller change where like yep. if you're like if the mode changes, then it's probably going to change more. Mm -hmm. if, if it's the same data set, it's going to change 
more. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Like, so, am I correct in my summary for you is like, uh, if there are some changes here, this will sort of wiggle about a little yeah. bit. But if there's changes to the mode, it might just like jump over to a whole thing completely. Yeah, okay, sure. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to hit pause on this. I'm just interested by how I'm, I'm going to put this out of the box, okay? Interested by how, I wasn't expecting so much disagreement first. I knew I was going to get some. Let's, let's go for some easier ones, okay? How about this? Still on domain, okay? Can't be used for any categorical data. Can we remember what categorical data is from yesterday? What, what makes categorical data categorical? Ordinal or nominal are the two sub no parts, right? Uh, there's no numbers with numerical meaning. So shoe size has numbers on it, right? But it's not like if you have a size 10 shoe and you add a size 11 shoe, you don't get a size 21 foot anywhere. Okay. So, so why can't we do? Do we agree on this, by the way? Yeah, are we happy with this? Okay. Can you read it again, yeah, absolutely. So this is worth writing down for all of you. Okay, under your mean column, uh -huh. it can't be used for any categorical data. You can't calculate the mean of, you know, I'm trying to think of you know, favorite, favorite musical style, right? Um, <laughs> I was going to go to eye color, but I know Mrs. Lee's is, is the living contradiction of that. So that's fine. Uh, if you didn't know, by the way, Mrs. Lee's has more than one eye color. Um, so can't be used for any categorical data. That's fine. Uh, next one along. It says, this is still on the mean. Do we agree enough to write this down? Is the mean easily distorted by outliers? Is the mean easily distorted by outliers? Yes, yes. yes Sarah, you went straight away. Why? Because if you have like 2, 4, 6, and then you have added 60, yep. it's going to change. Perfect, exactly. So an outlier, of course, is something way down low or way up high, and you only need one of them to completely throw out the mean. Do you agree? OK, so I'm happy to have both of them written down in your mean column. Let's go over to the mode. The mode's, um, <laughs> ironically, uh, was most frequently used. Okay, let's have a look. Um, unaffected by outliers. Unaffected by outliers? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Now, I should say, again, you didn't all see all the post-its. I did because I wrote them down. But right next to each other, I've got unaffected by outliers, like completely. And then underneath that, it's usually unaffected by outliers. So I'm just going to give you a clue. These don't belong in the same category. So which one do you think? belongs under mode. Do you think it's usually unaffected or always well, unaffected? Okay, so we just, we just established, right? So now you've worked out there's three that are related to outliers, right? So we know this one is easily distorted by outliers. Which one do we think belongs to mode? What do you reckon, so Sophie? It isn't really affected by outliers because if something's an outlier, there's nothing like it. So like, mm -hmm. No one cares about it. Okay. It's not the it's most probably not the thing most. Okay, so the mode, by definition, is not related. To, if, if it was most frequent, it wouldn't be an outlier anymore, would it? Does that make sense? Is that good logic? So we're going to put completely, maybe you want to put that word, completely unaffected by outliers, because if it's the mode, it's not an outlier anymore. So that means, whoops, I shouldn't have stuck and unstuck these posters so many times. Um, that means by you know, course of dedu un deduction, usually unaffected by outliers goes over to median. median. Very good. You can write that down now if you like, even though we're not up to it. 